Task Force 3 is part of a network of urban search and rescue teams from across the United States. Initially, there were 25. Out of the 25, eight were in the state of California. We were one of them. We've been fortunate enough here in the Bay Area to be an innovator in terms of technology. We try and vet out technologies that make sense and we're trying to guide them as well to make sure people are building things that actually will work for first responders. We feel pretty good about Intel for a variety of reasons. Intel, I think, brings a lot of exciting things of possibility and then some very real things they're already doing in terms of the cameras and the photography and the resolution. I have a high confidence in the people that we've been working with based upon what they're telling us, what we're seeing, and then turning this over to our field responders, which is really where the magic happens. Drones for us are a game-changing technology. They can make us better and more efficient in doing our job. We can be more effective. We can gain situational awareness that we need for the health and safety of our personnel. We're all about seconds, minutes, and hours here. We basically view the UAV as being um, a disruptive technology. Essentially, it's one of the tools that could make a big difference for us. We use it for fires, we use it for search and rescue, all kinds of um, hazardous materials response, wildland firefighting. Um, it, we, we see it as having applications across multiple different realms. We're able to see changing conditions, um, information that we need, whether we're you know, looking for heat signatures, we're searching for bodies or, um, or people, or uh, we're you know, seeing the, with the temperature of a fire and changing conditions on a fire ground. So uh, we're able to see those things much more quickly and, and react to them appropriately um, through our command structure on scene. Drones can increase um, our effectiveness, make us faster at doing our job, where we need to put hose lines, where potential victims might be. That's gonna be a, a key in accelerating our response. We save life and property, we protect the environment, we protect people. So I think with that mantra, with that mindset, with that mission in mind, you know, drones are a perfect fit for us. I would predict that within the next three to five years, you're gonna see drones in every one of these rescue teams. And my goal is to get a drone in every fire department in this country, and I'll tell you why. Putting these tools in their hands allows us to be even better at what we're doing, more effective, more efficient. The game-changing phrase isn't just something that sounds good. It's real, and it will make a difference.